Well, my name is Taras Siri. Uh, I'm a freelance consultant. Uh, currently, I'm based in Tbilisi. And I'm working on a uh, public project called Smoke Free Tbilisi, which is an interactive map of smoke free establishments in Tbilisi that people who prefer to so enjoy the atmosphere where they're free air, clean air without smoke, they can go to the website and find a location that's available that kind of caters to them and use that. Well, right now, pretty much, it's open season for smoking everywhere here. And the big issue, for example, if you're a non-smoker and you come from Europe, where laws have been passed which prevent public smoking in a lot of areas, uh, in Georgia, that's not the case. And if you're trying to basically enjoy yourself in a restaurant without coming out smelling like you've been smoking for three hours, there's very few places that are available who do that. So we're trying to basically you know, establish a site, get some people on there, get a few small places in there, drive business towards them so that the other business owners will see that this model actually generates more revenue for them than the established model and change their behavior in such a way. On the initial stage to get the, so to say, as I call the beta project out, I just need to spend a little bit more time, get it working the way I like it, get people and get the word out there. And getting the word out there, this is where I think I will need help from the community because, you know, I can only do so much and if people have sort of a network where I can say, hey, you know, these guys are doing this, check it out, get some support to them, that would be helpful. Another issue is also, the, and this is getting sort of say more grassroots on the local from the Georgian perspective because right now um, the key customers are foreigners who come from the environment. There's definitely a certain group of Georgians already who kind of understand the value of it, but I think to a larger group of people, when I say, you know, smoke-free Belize restaurant, they're going to say, what? Why? So changing that on a grassroots level in the country, I think, is going to be a challenge, which will come eventually. We're thinking of basically by going, in fact, that it's foreign, it's cool, it's going to trickle down, but we'll see. Well, there are a few things. Uh, first one is, so to say, the community outreach efforts that have somebody, somebody have done, so to say, experience showing what things have worked, what things have not. I know there have been a few campaigns prior to the political passage of the laws that has been, so to say, showing some data. I know, for example, I can probably use some stuff from Ukraine, although I really haven't collected, showing that there actually has been an increase of number of restaurants and their higher profit before and after, so to say, the smoking ban. Mm -hmm. Additional one is just general promotion efforts. Right now we're thinking of doing stickers on the restaurant saying it's like, you know, no smoking loud, smokefreebelisi.org, kind of just to get the name of people who are not online. And then the next phase, which we're going to, and this one I'll probably will need help if somebody has done similar things in, in the past, is doing an application where basically you locate yourself a GPS, say I have a radius of one and a half kilometers, what's available out there, and maybe you know, do selection of kitchens or whatever, assuming there's enough restaurants participating.